not the worst either. In the mid game, the catch isn't really there. There's no bat rider. We don't really see much of that here right now, or you know, something like a storm. Chance of the courier getting sniped this way. The Ice 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 getting a bit of harassment here from Q. He tries to trade auto attacks. Aggressive moves into position and Gardner's here. This could be the first blood. They get the Janata slow, or rather the uh, Orb of Venom slow. And there you go. Just like that, C Duck on the board. Q gets the first blood. It may end up being a failed rotation. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where it's not even that costly if it fails because it gives Q the open lane. Meanwhile, top lane, Ice 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 trapped out. Soul Assumption's there. They're bringing in Fenrir. A little bit of reinforcements onto Q. They go the lift, the drop. They get the kill. They stun Garter, and he's going to have to back Vici, finding their openings and not giving up any as Fenrir looks for a Fade Bolt follow-up. Garter has Shadow Walk in one second. They get the vision. Ice 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 nails him with the rocket. Oh, the timing there. Just so crisp for Vici. Different approach. We'll have to see how it works oh, out. Garter, huh? he's the one who scouted. They have dust for this. This should be a kill. That hook's not going to miss, and they do steal oh, only Shadow Walk. See deck happy that it's not going to be the track to deal with. And this is where the Bristleback power farm against the Jarrett Company being roaming too much and not really getting much. That Rocket Barrage cooldown does, doesn't do much damage to a Bristleback when he turns his back on you. This is actually one of the better heroes to have against the oh, Jarrett Company. Fenrir, have they finally found a freaking opening? Nope, not even. Hookshot's there. They do get the one kill, but Cheeky's trapped within the cogs. Queen of Fatal comes out, but Net holds him in place. XZ lucky to live through this, and Hal's gonna look to rampage his way through the back line. Call down connecting, though. They do bring down one. It's a close exchange so far. Two for one. The track onto Ice Ice Ice. They're just trying to ignore this Bristleback of Hal, but it's not gonna work much longer. Q next on the list. How? Oh, don't know if he finds anything more here. It might be Garter. Detection is gone, but he may well. Oh, Blake Scream, that'll do it. Three to two, the fight overall. Uh, the Bristle didn't even take a lick of damage. He's fine. ready to go. Garter, hunting, hunting. Just one nuke and they'll get him. Then they find it. Blake, scream on the XC. He goes, tracked and forced back immediately. But now how engages. And with a couple of auto attacks, they'll cleanly bring down XC. Not losing how Great bait by him to walk into the pit. Maybe the brood. Track number one, thrown out on how Riptide one and the spider lanes along with the scream and aggressive to purchase a top of the high ground. The Indian team doesn't scout him, but they most likely expect the backstab here. And they get Roche into the danger zone. Time to go. Call out coming through. Will connect on Super, who's tracked. Double from another stun. Brood, Spider League, not enough. He blinks out the safety. Where's the Laguna? They can't get it off. And now Hal charges forward. Garter did manage to finish off by NXC. Doesn't get him. Oh, he had Super, but the hook from Ice 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 denies him. And they tap Hal on the run, who comes back in as the Quill stack up. There's the Cogs. Beautiful by Ice Ice Ice. Pulls two in, but they manage to bring down the Bristleback. Somehow, someway, and Cedek have found the damage. Multiple soul subjects and the Laguna. Out of nowhere, what do you know? It's a Cedek team wipe. Pile in the track gold and give them a Roche. I don't have any clue how they scouted. They just smoked. I don't think they were actually seen, but they're gonna run. Oh, they do find the Bristle. Can they focus him down? Stunt's gonna connect to start off. They fall for the track, but his back's turned, and that is a difficult target to bring down at best. Hope shot was attempted. Ice Ice Ice. It looks like he hits a teammate again. And now they engage. The Fenrir tries to run away. The cooldown's gonna connect. That's a quick kill. BKB now deployed by Aggressive. The super ult was good, but not quite good enough. Ice 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 found the tower deny. Again, XZ just maneuvering on the sidelines of the fight, trying to find the easy pickoff. Could have, they could have brought him down, but he, he fell right back. No Radiant Vision, but Hal just keeps on scurrying about in his own woods. He's gonna get swarmed on. They do have BKBs here, but coming in is the Smoke Gang. Ice 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 Super and Fenrir all clumped up together. Maybe they lose Garter, maybe they lose more. BKB from Aggressive, he's gonna engage. Diving on to Super, trying to finish him off here before the Blakey gets the kill. He's even chasing on to Hal, and he's got the backup of XZ. There is a song available from FY, and he hits the eject button and says, get the hell out. This fight is over again. Three down, they had the numbers advantage when it began, but they just couldn't sustain. Got the Warpath stacks to worry about, and uh, when those start to add up, his damage gets very substantial. They are making the move on top, Blink, Queen of Pain ultimate, they blow up Garter instantly. It's only fair. It's only fair. <laughs> Now Q looking to back off, but he's going to be the man that's caught. Trapped in the middle lane, and nowhere for him to go. Pick off again for Didn't Vici. Like the sound a little bit of, of bonus. That? So they're going to need to hold the hook here if they hope to kill off this gyro, and they're not going to find him. Oh, they, they got Vision. They're going to get Garter again. He's the sacrificial lamb. Trapped in the cons, he four staffs out, and everybody and their mother is waiting for that four staff. But C-Deck immediately smoking. 
I think maybe hoping for the instant Roche respawn or close to this Radiance. Can they kill him? Yules, I don't know if they can chain stun this and they're gonna get revealed now. FY Kinsan, if he really feels nervous, he's holding it for now. They're going and yeah, he's gonna have to pop it. Didn't get the Yules off. Trying for it. Bottom lane, meanwhile, Q getting... There we go, there's the deep wards behind the bottom tier 2 tower. Maybe looking for a kill on Fenrir. Fenrir looking to shadow walk away. He's baited Q in, and Q may pay for this with his life. See that getting a bit sloppy here. Starting to feed half quite a bit. Aggressive looks to hold the line here. He's charging forward, but he's going into four heroes. It's only XC on his side. He still manages to pound through Ice Ice Ice, and they have the Laguna ready for Hal, but he shoots it while Hal's back's turn. Not quite the damage they wanted, but the BKB ends. What a timing for a stun. Cheeky doing the math, and getting another kill on how I have no clue how they continue to bring him down here of, of damage to a non bristleback hero yeah. to a bristleback essentially it's just like you've just got to keep on throwing spells keep on throwing rocket barrages keep on attacking with your desert brood and now the high ground is being seen t3 tower brought down and Rax exposed there is a radiance this is the time you want to get this first lane of Rax before FY can start yeah. really split pushing out they haven't committed fully yet but they're going for it they get the stun on super and XC goes in that death so damage are you kidding me XC chewing through them they're gonna lose a couple now but they've gotten the Rax two dead and C deck booking it out of there. I, I think worth it, gods, for that Rex. A double buyback. The Queen of Pain also bought back on top of the bristle. Dendi, I, I think shortly after TI2. Al caught mid lane. He does have the BKB. The stun comes through. He didn't pop the BKB. Al not quick on the reactions, and he's probably paid with his life for this. The track goes in. He gallops away, but has no TP. Oh, it's a big kill if he gives it up, and they're ready with the rotation, but not fast enough. Can he actually just speedy Gonzalez's his way to freedom? Where's the homie missile? The tower shot's not going to do it. They keep on chasing. The creeps just swat him on the behind as he runs away. Finally, the Yules. And with that, the kill. Jeez, he's fast. Is under attack. Well then, <laughs> uh, even without an Aegis, they want two gods. They've they have only the got AC. one creep wave. It's they a minute before Roche respawns. If they get wiped here, this could lead to a beachy Aegis. I think Koptis needs a sonic wave this, and then there's no more creep wave for him. There's the ult, no, trying to find it. It's not a great ultimate, as Aggressi plays into Howe's backside and forces him out of the fight. They lift up XC, he didn't peek in the attack. Now the stun on the Howe, and Blink it in front of him. Cheeky just rips him a new one. That's some swag play from Melina, but now the turnaround. Hogan from Ice Ice Ice, can he make something out of this? XC, manning up with the BKB, is able to get the job done, and now C Deck have punched a hole in the VG base. Two lanes of Rex down, no buyback on Hal, and it might just be GG all of a sudden, just like that. Wouldn't be surprised to commit to this third lane as well. The rain tracks are going down. back in. They've stolen the Laguna Blade, trying to throw it against him. They do bring XC down, but Super may pay the ultimate price. There's the song. And fight with the reset. He can finish off Q here quickly. Aggressive has a satanic soon, though. And they're just trying to stall this one out. They heal up Q. He's going to survive. Call down coming in. They're focusing on buildings here. Not really worrying about heroes too much. Laguna's ready as well. They have to be careful not to give up more kills. Ice 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 could get Laguna right now with Dai almost for full health. He's just above the threshold. The stun. Oh, he's dead as well. Shiki racks up another. Aggressive, the one to claim the kill. Super forced to buy back. FY back in the fray. Aggressive track. Lifted up and down, he does satanic and tries to fight his way through, but he's hitting illusions. Now he hits the real hero. He hangs on and he chases after Super. Has to blink to the left, makes it out. The melee down mid. C deck again and again with the upsets, looking to make this another one. TPing out in their face, pouring salt into the wound. They may lose Garner here, but the base is in shambles. And this team, gods, who would have thought? the call down even if because it just means you get more auto attack oh and the double flak of course how could we forget that if they get the sages and just go down mid beachy gonna have a very hard time holding the base is low but as you can see the fight breaks out near the road champion fy immediately laguna don't have set up the bad xc ends in the blinking spider it's something out of the most horrible nightmare and it will kill him off now the secondary call down how can't turn his back won't turn his back and will die back these, these blink well, daggers. Actually, that's just a death, but he's dead for a long time The regardless. blinking brood there in the top lane, it was the blinking Lena where when the stun hits Brissy, you blink past, get the Laguna from the front, and blink on both of them. And there you have it, guys. Cedar, take game one of this best of two, and they have pretty much clinched the top four finish, and quite likely they're going to be eyeing off the top spot in this group B.
And I think Vici looked at the way the Bristleback got started for Howe, and they felt like the Brood had been dealt with. They hadn't given up kills. In fact, they had shut down the Bounty Hunter Roam. And, you know, I do go back to some of those missed Ice 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 hooks. Definitely not the only.